Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a uh, new thing here on the Patron Cast. We're we're doing a uh, we're doing our first Let's Play, and as you can see from the screen, it is uh, Mortal Kombat Deception. We're gonna we're gonna run through the entirety of Conquest mode, not all in one sitting, multiple parts, but. We're gonna we're gonna play the life of Shujinko. Uh, I will be at the wheel. I am Razor. With me are uh, Shad and Smokeman. Say hi, gentlemen. Hey, go fuck yourself. <laughs> nah, I'm looking forward to this. It's gonna be great. That's a good oh, start. This is That's a good start. I, I um, I know. Um, I'm here. I'm happy. One of our long, long, long time listeners, going back like pretty much the entire eight years. Uh, Wilson, Kevin Wilson, I think it is. Uh, he he was asking us to do a conquest playthrough from like the earliest days. So eight years, many gray hairs later, we're finally getting around to that. I mean, this is long overdue. I've I've wanted to do quite a few uh, let's plays, but uh, the uh, my PC wasn't up to it. I got a new one like a year, year and a half ago. The one I'm on now. So uh, I could have been doing it since then. I was just kind of lazy, I guess. Hell yeah! But, uh, now is the time. That was combat time. <laughs> <laughs> this is truly one of the best parts of all of Mortal Kombat's history. This mode right here. Yeah. I'm a I'm a big fan of the, the the way this starts out. This is perfect music for that like Shaw Brothersy feel. You've got this village in China and so we were um I guess we should talk about timeline like where are we when Shujinko is a little Sung, kid here I will win the Mortal Kombat tournament and free <laughs> earth realm from your tyranny so it's inter interesting so? that then all of these people Know so much about uh, the the Mortal Kombat lore, right down to accurately cosplaying Shang Tsung's outfit, <laughs> and accurately cosplaying Goro. Look at this; these kids are on point. Yeah, like how do they know what Goro looks like so well? <laughs> I guess you know the Shaolin take notes. They have their scribes. They have like their notations of history and. Word gets around, I'm presuming. So everybody, like, turns and looks like there's a school bell ringing or something? I didn't hear a bell. Did you hear a bell? <laughs> Not shit. I think, there's, I think there's a bell. I think there's supposed to be a bell. I remember hearing a bell. I, it, it could be emulator jank. That's probably that's possible. I'm not sure if I remember a sound effect on the original PlayStation version or not, but... I, I, I feel like I remember a bell. I think like, it's right interesting... Right now, there's some, like, audio repeating in the background. Well, that's that's supposed to be it's crowd funny. noise from the town. That's normal. Um, it, it is just a little bit obnoxious. But uh, I, I think it's interesting that all the kids run like they're late for school. Ah, and Shujinko doesn't go with them. Let he goes into begin. Bo Raicho's dojo like he, he doesn't attend school with the rest of the kids. No, I think that, like, what's happening... Like, because he actually, I was going to say, he looks a little bit older than most of the rest of them. Well, like, he, he's, he's just having fun with the little ones. So that is the thing. Like, if you do the math on it, he's supposed to be 13 right now. Because uh, at the end of this village, you will train with Bo Rai Cho for five years, and then you'll be 18. And you'll be an adult, you can go out on your own, is the idea. And, like, there's... If you... We'll, we'll show the... When we get back to the world map, uh, there's a clock and everything, and you can sort of track that Shujinko is supposed to be 60 years old in the present day, like during Deadly Alliance and Deception. Right. So, like... I'll give more context to that, but if you do the math, he's supposed to be 13 right now. You have a long way to go! But I just... I think it's interesting. He lives in this village. We never see anything like parents. He doesn't go to school with the other kids. He just trains with Bo, so clearly some I mean, kind of orphan. It's Mortal Kombat, man. Oh, Everyone's an orphan. In combat <laughs> plays as much a part of parents all dead. Johnny Cage has parents. So, we're um, we actually didn't clarify like where time like time wise this takes place. Yeah. So we're talking, we're talking like roughly 20, 30 years before the first Mortal Kombat tournament at the moment. Yeah, I believe. Uh, 
I when you when you compare compare Shujinko's age to the fact that Deadly Alliance and Deception happened back to back in the year two thousand two, that puts us somewhere around like nineteen sixty right now. All right, so I gotta do this tutorial ah, stuff. Very good. <laughs> The most basic of basics. Do not assume this that is the most is tedious part of Conquest it is. mode. So it's a little tedious. I mean, I get off on hearing gr on, on, on hearing Bo's gruff, sexy voice. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that, that's for right now, I believe. Yeah, there's actually the as you go on, less and less lines are voiced during these tutorial parts. It does sort of create an expectation. I mean. You still do get voice acting from many, many characters yeah. down the line, but like at some point they just kind of stop talking yeah, during stop, the training. They only stop, before they stop doing the whole text boxes, and they'll just be like very good when you succeed and that kind of thing. Mm hmm. And it's just like we could be exploring right now, but instead we're doing basic shit right now. I mean, that is that is the thing, is that even t to this day with the story mode, the reason the chapter system exists is because Ed insists on these, these uh, single-player story modes being a form of training. He wants you to be able to, like, get used to the character. Ah, very good! And, uh, and this, this mode especially, because Deadly Alliance had a thing called Conquest Mode, but it was just you select e the character and everyone on the select screen is available and then you do like 10 missions like this only the text boxes would have lore in them mm -hmm. so this is an evolution of that it works in some ways not so much in others you know well, in Deadly Lands, you just kind of have the freedom to be who you wanted to be at any yeah. given moment if you just want to learn one person you're good but here you kind of have to learn roughly, what is it, 80, 70% of the cast? There are some members that are only available yeah, after you finish Conquest. There's, there's alone, quite like, a few that are completely optional and are basically not canon. But, uh... Yeah, th so the thing that's interesting to me is I can't decide whether I like it better... Hang on a sec, let's see if we can... There he is, there he is. Almost forgot about that. Yep, yep. And <laughs> and uh, if we run over here, look at this guy. <laughs> ah, Striker, alive and well in the 1960s. <laughs> that was Sub Zero, sir. <laughs> what's, up, what's up? Ah, couldn't see. It was. Definitely... It could be a sub. It could be a sub. Well, he was wearing the Cryomancer armor, so <laughs> screen small on my screen. All right. So. So let's talk to our buddy Apep here. We know. Oh yes, Apep, legendary hero, the one with his fucking two thousands hair. Yeah, this. Uh, he's definitely like the lead singer of Edema has come back for the, <laughs> for the second time. This is his appearance in this game. Follow me. And this is one of our earliest examples of quality. Quality voice acting. Yeah, folks. yeah. So I could follow him, but the giant green beam from the sky makes that unnecessary. <laughs> nope. Run around. Collect shit. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's talk to this fellow here, cause he looks shady as fuck. <laughs> I am practicing ninjutsu, the art of stealth. Oh, Watch okay. Me disappear. You will never find me. Find the hiding boy. Do you happen to know where the hiding boy is, Shad? Let's find out. I have a handy <laughs> dandy guide right here. Alright, um, well, before we spot him, there is a timed one here, so let's talk to, uh, Goro's upper half. What do you want, Shujinko? I cannot find my brother. If you find him, tell him I am looking for him. My brother is lazy and needs to do his chores. I am not going to do his chores for him. All right, I'll, I'll I'll let him know if I see him. But but uh, I think the timed one is oh. uh, somewhere else. What the f Scorpion, Scorpion, <laughs> come back! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going over there. <laughs> <laughs> the hiding boy 
is at A6. A6. He is in the he is in the park with the fountain. All right, well, hiding behind a tree at the let, southwest corner. Let me let me find out what this guy's problem is real quick. Oh, he's been learning with Bo. This guy has. Yeah. Shujinko, can you help me? I ate some bad kimchi and I feel very. Is it kimchi Korean? It is. Yeah. So <laughs> I have I have until 8 p.m. to find this guy, which is generous today. Last time I played this, it was 6 p.m. when I asked. <laughs> so... Also, by the way, the subtitles, what? they spelled My kimchi wrong. Sick. Here, take this to Oh, me. that's a shame. <laughs> they spelt it K-I-M-C-H-E-E. -E. It's spelt K-I-M-C-H-I. I see. All right, so I have saved your life, kid. Dis if we don't do this, right. do we catch him Thank lying dead so on the much. ground, I or...? <laughs> if I recall, yes you I do. Nice. This, <laughs> but I have a great secret to share with you. Stand by the lamppost next to Bo Raicho's second dojo at 4 a.m. Wednesday morning. Keep an eye on the side of the house. When you see a great treasure appear there, take it. You will not be sorry. So the NPCs are aware the treasure chests appear and disappear into thin air. Don't think <laughs> about it. Just don't. <laughs> There's also, uh, there's a fun one around here. It's... maybe him? Come here. There's a guy with a tooth problem. Yeah. If you were smart, young man, you would not venture past the gates. I never have. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm an exciting life, life you've led. <laughs> I am well into my 70s and I've never left this town. <laughs> I should have taken better care of my go. teeth. My yes. tooth is causing me so much pain. The local dentist is nowhere to be found. What should I do? I might have a solution for this. You know what to do. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. The pain has gone away. Thank you, young man. You have done me a great service. You're Take very this welcome, money sir. As payment for your <laughs> dental services. This is how we on the Nethercast bucks. learn to behave. 400 bucks. Okay, so, uh, the disappeared kid should be over there in the fountain behind you somewhere. Ah, uh, Behind see. a tree. Ah, there he is. Very stealthy. Hey. You found me. As a reward, I will give you this key. Ruddy mysterious. Now, there's quite a few uh, keys and things you collect in the starting village that will be in your inventory forever, whether you oh, find a purpose so for them or not. It's <laughs> annoying. <laughs> we should take care if we want to like, be thorough to do everything in the village before yeah, we leave, Gigi, because we can't ever I'm come sorry, back here. But I cannot let you pass these gates. Master Boraicho is waiting Now, for I you. believe if we were to miss a treasure chest, they will uh, also yeah, spawn Yeah, they will spawn outside, outside. So you never actually miss anything important. But, uh... There's a dude outside of his house in D5 who Hello, pawned Zinko. his wedding I ring. I the key to my house when nice. we were playing Mortal Kombat earlier. If you see my key, please bring it to me. My parents will kill me if someone uses my key to rob our house. If someone uses the key to rob your house, you say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God this is a wholesome village full of good people who would never do a thing like that. Yeah, yeah. Imagine if someone were to find that key and then rob your house. <laughs> who would ever do such a thing? Uh, would your house be this house? What's, uh, what's in here? Hmm. Let's make this clear, folks. Shushenko is not a good person. No! <laughs> Never was. At least I think he is, but the story of him in Mortal Kombat Deception is the story of a man lying to himself. I mean, he... he... wants to be a good person, except for all of the things the player can do. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I'd say that a lot of the uh, the side quests are necessarily canon. No, oh god, no, I mean, come on, you find Sector in Adenia, like... <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, but then, like, I, I don't know if him 
using the key to steer to go into a guy's house is canon. I mean, some of the core like plot developments that occur are like really sketchy in terms of like time and placement and. But a good ground rule going in is to just assume that none of the side shit happens yeah, at no, all. Just, uh, none of it's actually important. The only things that are canon are what the green light from the sky tells you to do. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but uh, I do want to make sure that I rob every house. Not just the one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so here's the inventory. The blue key is still in it. Now these ones are for the crypt. So they would go away if I used them, but these are story keys. What does the mysterious key unlock, incidentally? You know, I feel like I remember a mysterious key or some key that actually doesn't unlock anything. Yeah, yeah. There's, like they forgot to implement the rest of the quest keys. or something like that. I think there's like three or four keys that don't do shit. <laughs> The mysterious are key is the one that opens the hut where he was Raichel? standing in front of. That's the one that uh, he asked you to find. Hello, and I think you took that one. That was 400 ruby coins. Was that was an A6. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello there. You are Shujinko, yes? I have heard my students speaking of you. I am teaching these young ones the basics of combat. But I think you will learn much more from Master Boraicho. Well, why doesn't everybody train with Boraicho? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, the guy between the houses that asks you to find his key... You can give it back to him, and get, like, 50 random coins, mm -hmm. or enter his house that has two windows, and open his chest and get 250 ruby ones. Right, so I did that. Let's see if I can give the key back to him anyway. Oh, you found my key. Thank you. Now I will not get into trouble. Okay, so he doesn't give me a reward if I rob him. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> There's an old woman wandering around in around the B and C five six area, and she will ask you to deliver a note to the blacksmith. Hello, young man. Oh, yep, yeah, I skipped the dialogue, but that's fine. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's also someone around who's looking for their missing son. Lin Kuei shit going on. Yeah. Who are you? Oh, Shujinko. The Lin Kuei have been recruiting again. Right, right. I think so, my son has been so, initiated. If you see him, tell him to come home right away. I will definitely, uh, if I, if one of these random people I talk to happens to be your son, I will say that to him, yes. <laughs> but, uh, let's see if we can't find a, uh, a Lin Kuei around here. What's your... Oh, there's a crying baby. You guys hear that? Yes. Fuck em. Move along. Fuck babies. This bridge is off limits. Hey, that was Taven's voice actor. Oh, why did you punch me? <laughs> <laughs> he was being helpful. What a dick. <laughs> hey, you punched a guy to help him with his tooth. Oh, I, when I try to punch him, it None triggers a dialogue pass. instead of swinging. Okay. And then he hits me again. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's right. Okay. I see how... And he goes back for war. I see how things work around here. Alright, well. I'm gonna rob this house. People who don't leave not their village me. for 70 years. People punching each other. <laughs> house robbery. No wonder Chichinka wanted to leave. Alright, well, the, uh... The blacksmith is probably asleep. I would meditate till the morning, I guess. Well, let's let's uh, let's do some training. Here it All is. right. This so, is another of Master one of the Rachel's things I was gonna classrooms. say before we caught Ermac randomly running right through now. the park you should go inside. was uh, you I'm not here. sure whether I prefer having the tutorials divided up between many locations like this, or if I'd rather do it all at once because one way is very long and tedious. It is. And the other way is long and tedious in a different way. I also want so I said when we got to the world map I talk about the clock so I want to point out up there that it's currently uh, January 1st 1901 2001 <laughs> year 1 it is year 1 that is the thing this clock is not this calendar isn't actually telling us the real world date it's telling us how long you've been playing <laughs> uh, so this is year 1 of Shujinko's quest but the actual year is, I, I believe when you do the math, it's like 1960. 
And uh, one of the reasons it's important to keep track of that is because Shujinko is so old that a person could be, like, confused into thinking that, you know, like, the ninth Mortal Kombat tournament hasn't happened yet. But, like, the whole plot is, like, he wants to fight at the tenth tournament. He wants to go to MK1 when he's older. Yeah. So, the... The, the tournament before that has to have already happened, and that would have been in the year, like, 1942, I believe? Sounds uh, right. 1960 is also Bihan's birth year, so currently Sub-Zero should be his father, and his father should be in America with his mother. <laughs> so Oops. when we get when we get to the Lin Kuei, and there is a Sub-Zero there... We'll just have to assume that that's his grandpa. Or, you know, maybe he just jet sets a lot. <laughs> I suppose it's possible. Alright. It's 8 in the morning, now I'm allowed to train. Look you know, like, sneakily and creepily he's to... yeah, Okay, yeah, this like, screen here. I... This pull-my-finger screen, I absolutely <laughs> love it. He does not want any part of what's going on there. That is part of the training. You've got to learn to say no. <laughs> All right, he's gonna teach me to do combo. Poke me in the eyes, Shujinko. Now, one of the difficulties we're going to have here is that I'm playing on an Xbox controller and it is showing the PS2 buttons because this is the original PS2 version of the game, not the version for GameCube that had uh, Shao Kahn and Goro and not unchained for the PSP. It's fine. Yeah, I'll, I will uh, muscle memory my way through it. <laughs> the triangle should be here, and the circle should be there. <laughs> triangle on top, square and circle to the left and right respectively, X on the bottom. Indeed. I, I hate doing that shit when I play SF6, and I play on a PS4 controller, but it's on my PC. It shows the fucking Xbox buttons. Yeah, like the on a modern game, like a Steam game, the PC is supposed to read what kind of controller you're using and show the correct buttons. But like I, I, I played nothing but PS games growing up, so like all of that is stuck in my head. Whenever I look at an Xbox controller and it's like A B X Y, but in a different way than the old Super Nintendo layout was, I I, I just have a minor stroke. But I wanted to say, yeah, I love how sneaky Shujinko sneaks into, like, rooms. When he's just going for training, he's just creeping. He's creeping up the stairs. It's interesting I have a lot of loading screens to comment on. I'm not paying for these lessons, they're paying me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what now, Apep? Good, you are finished. Come on, let's go to the next class. I'll follow you anywhere, you glorious bastard. Wait a second. The bridge guard is gone. Yes. Okay, we've got a butcher here. This guy has pots. This guy also sells pots and vases. This guy has grain. Hello there. Hmm. Where is the blacksmith? Because I have a note for the blacksmith. I think the blacksmith is closer to the edge of a. Uh, He's in B4. Right. Okay, let's B4. talk to this gentleman. He will. Hello there. You are the one they call Shujinko, right? Yes. I am studying the art of meditation. You should too. It will help you in the future. Let me show you how. Pressing the appropriate button will start you meditating. Okay. Well, I already know how to meditate, but... Aha! Here's who I was looking for. Look at this, uh... This gentleman just walking openly through the streets of the village. He's all pleased with himself, what too. What do you want? I do not have time for foolish chatter. I have been instructed to search for able men and women to increase the ranks of my clan. You cannot possibly possess skills worthy of a Lin Kuei warrior. No, I can no, tell by looking. You're probably right. <laughs> Punch him. Punch him. He's an asshole. Punch him. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no bones! Well, he gives as good as he gets. That was a cowardly attack. 
If we meet outside the protection of this town, there is nowhere you can hide. I'll, uh... a, cower a cowardly attack? I was right in front of you. Yeah, yeah, it was right in your face. Um, so one thing I want to point out that I enjoy is that he's wearing the Mythologies get up. Yep. Which uh, has always been sort of, in my head, the, the canon Lin Kuei uniform. And the one that Bihan should actually be wearing if you were to remake MK1, because... I mean, it is honestly, still how I picture him. The the only real difference is that the mask has vents instead of being cloth, and the, the gauntlets are blue instead of black, but, you know. It, it just kind of looks nicer. Mm -hmm. And it's like, obviously mythology is, is the newer of the game, so, like, continuity-wise, that outfit would supersede. And, uh, there's the portal. I've unlocked that. It wasn't too much of a fan. It was just weird how they put, like, the actual arcade ladders sticking out of the sand in the background. <laughs> <laughs> With, like, the faces and everything for you to yeah, see. Yeah, the, the Choose Your Destiny towers are now a part of the actual sky. A scale, that's like a 50-foot Cyrax picture. I love how people just leave their money lying in the street. You I found 20 bucks once. I ah. keep my money in the street. I have something for you, just, sir. Hey, wake up. Your brother is looking for you. <sighs> huh? What? I better get home to do my chores. I waited a full day to tell you. <laughs> I hope your mom isn't mad the dishes aren't done. Has they been sleeping for a full day then? Yes. Yeah, yeah, he just slept in the park for 24 hours. You should see a doctor. Sure. Oh, with that. Maybe yeah. with a punch to the teeth. Oh, there was Striker. Oh, Striker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew I remembered him being around here somewhere. What uh, what square did you say that blacksmith is in? The blacksmith is in, in B4. B4. I wonder if I can bring up a... Is there a map for the starting village? I believe so. It's in select. There we are. Yeah. The map does not have a grid on it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it is ludicrously unhelpful. The blacksmith Oops. might be across the bridge that I can't yet... Because there's a... So the one the one bridge is only guarded at night, but this guy is always here. You shall not pass. Please don't hit me. Okay, okay, that's better. Hit him. Now, now we're talking. Having a better day today. I'm not gonna hit him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's going to happen. All right, let's uh. Here it is. Continue Master our training. Master Boraijo says you are interested in becoming a real warrior. If you are going to be the best, you will have to train hard. It is not easy. But it is worth it. Go so have you, to watch have you the completed lesson. the training, Apep? Is that why you're uh, talking to me like you've done all this already? <laughs> Are you a great warrior? <laughs> sneak, sneak, sneak. <laughs> Alright, so this one's about blocking. Okay, you cannot complete the blacksmith mission until you do Borai Cho's fourth round of training. Okay. Same with finding the woman's missing son. Okay, low blocking, that's what I'm supposed to do. Did you talk to the dude who pawned his wedding ring? Uh, not yet. Okay, he's in. Okay. We'll get to that after that. Oh, very nice! I mean, I can do anything in the village until I leave the village, which. Yeah. Yeah. I th I'm pretty sure the, the sick kid who needs me to get medicine from his mother is the only timed mission in the village. 
It might be the only timed mission in the game. I was about to say that I don't remember there being any of those, really. That's not what it was. There we go. Sidestepping is what I'm supposed to be doing here. It's easier, easier with the D-pad. There we go. Hi. Great job. You are getting good at this. Now follow me. I love his little come hither hand motion. <laughs> Just tilts it off to the side. Whoop, whoop. The next class is beyond this bridge. We need to pay the toll to get across, but I have no money. We must find some other means to pay the guard. You know, I have a whole bunch of coins, but... I'm glad it just nope. tells me what to do. <laughs> there is no surefire way to a man's heart than ham. No, no, this man, you, as we will soon discover, this man loves him some ham. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the best bits of voice acting. It's so great. <laughs> you are right. Oh, God, his face. The bridge must be hungry. Please take this ham to him. Yeah, so... I have not washed it. You know, the, did, did you see that real ass fucking ham? You know, these are these are some low poly models because PlayStation 2 and open world and all that. Uh, this isn't terrible, but when we get out of this village, I wanna I wanna talk about Motaro. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna wait for that guy. Yeah, look forward to that shit. Cat. Um. It is too late to start any classes today. Why don't you meet? Yeah, no, I. Um. Ham. I love ham. Thank you. I very love much. ham. <laughs> now that I have ham, I don't need to work. Yeah, yeah, but done. I don't. Who needs a job? <laughs> I've got ham. <laughs> I love ham. <laughs> He's living his best life. He's just gonna, gonna go home, get some honey mustard sauce, live like a king. You know, I've never really been much of a ham guy. And I do not it understand how it's you. done. <laughs> ham is good stuff. The gold chests have the best stuff in them. But they don't have ham. For example, a character. <laughs> Remember when it was just this simple? Yeah, yeah, when you didn't have to, like, worry about it being random what's in the chest, and then you'd open all the chests and still not have everything in the game. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. So, so this here is interesting. This village has, like, a satellite branch of the Shaolin Temple. No one may pass this gate. Interesting you say that. <laughs> <laughs> Shing Sung must be defeated if Earthrealm is to be saved. Hello to you too. <laughs> good, good observation there, buddy. Yeah, yeah. he's got yeah. important things on he's his mind. He's not wrong. I hear the Lin Kuei Ninja Clan are recruiting again. All right, all right. He sounds surprisingly optimistic about that. Yeah, yeah. Like he wants to join. Like he's glad. He's like, ooh, is there a Lin Kuei I can meet? <laughs> it's no good conversation around here. Let's uh, let's see what's inside a Shaolin Temple. Oh, only monks are allowed in the temple. Okay. Alright. So, uh... Useless. I did, I did want to point out uh, something about the fact that there are Shaolin and Lin Kuei running around this map. Is that, uh... There are, there are no Shirai Ryu anywhere. So, when we get out into the open world and you can go to the, uh... The, the Shaolin Temple proper, and to the Lin Kuei headquarters, and join the Lin Kuei, and all those kinds of things. There's nothing on this map that isn't China. So, we're definitely in China, and not, you know, just some, some random, made-up 
Like, there, there's no Botan jungle. There's no Arctica, alright? Th this is... Mm -hmm. Somewhere within, like, the constraints of the real world at this point. It's not Earth, dude. It's Earth Realm. <laughs> it's like Earth. It's 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 birth. Dearth. It's not what, quite what was there. What that guy doing? He was, like, peeking in that window. Isn't there actually, like, a pervert running around the city or something? I, Am I remembering that, that, that wrong? That may have been him. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I have to talk to somebody first to learn about the pervert before I catch him. Let's see if there's Let's anybody in what... this house. Aha! I am glad you are here. There is a man who looks through my window each night at 2 a.m. I would be most grateful if you could scare him away for me. All right. There you go. So let's uh, let's hang out until two in the morning. It's better just to walk into her house. All these people are just gonna bump into me and shove me around in the road. I am the one who's supposed to sit in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you stare into someone's house, it's pretty creepy. All right. Walk yeah. in and start a conversation. You're fine. Here he comes. Exactly. That's acceptable JRPG behavior. Oh, look at that. Dynamic weather. Do, do, do. 2 a.m. Peep, 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 peep. I'm about to do some peeping. Peeping while they <gasps> sleeping. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them up. Oh, open her door at 2 a.m. Hey, lady, I fixed the problem. <laughs> I Thank got him. Goodness, you took care of that peeping Tom. <laughs> now I can undress in private. Oh, really? Well, that I, was uh, said very sexy, like. Yes, I, I could. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like that was supposed to be like she's enticing me with it or something. Like that was a seductive tone. <laughs> Just remember, every night at 2 a.m., I undress in private. Hmm. It's a shame that window is not interactable. <laughs> Shushenko's a good person, he'd never do that. No, no, he would never. He wouldn't just walk no. into a person's house and steal their money, either. What kind of monster? <laughs> oh, look at this, uh, this overturned cart, all these watermelons. And no, it's a shame things. they're- It's a shame they're not cabbages. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a shame. Oh, there was Jarek. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All kinds in this city. I do not know what you said to the guard, but it worked. He is gone now, and we can cross the bridge. Let us go we to the next We already have. <laughs> We're across it now. <laughs> Here we are. Lovely. As usual, I will wait outside. I've already learned these lessons anyway. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm sure you have, boy who is the same age as me. Well, that's why he's got the beam of God up right. shining on No, no, these, these are the powers he earned training with Boraicho. The Elder Gods favor him now. <laughs> <laughs> Chosen ones come and they go, but there was never one quite like him. Apep has has quite a legacy. For he example, does. his his grandson, who... Uh, Steals all the treasure from Shang Tsung's island and then dies trying to steal from the Shaolin Temple. <laughs> well, now you know who's got better security. He taught him well. <laughs> Creep. I mean, Creep. look, the descendant Creep. of Apep and and oh, my finger! are, you know, the morals that they have learned clearly not that different. <laughs> okay, so. You will likely have saved me. Okay, so we're gonna learn about fighting styles and weapons. Spam, spam, spam. Hi. You know how to pull out your sword and put it away. Very good. This is an advanced lesson. <laughs> Punch me once. Punch me twice. Now cut me like you mean it. Yeah, yeah. Very good. I'm bleeding. Well done. 
And that was the entire lesson. I'm done with this building. <laughs> You've scarred me for the day. Get me the medicinal alcohol, we'll call it good. Done. Just one more training room before the main school. The bridge is clear now. Follow me. The main school, huh? Oh, somebody has come to collect their spilled watermelons and purple things. <laughs> ah, this Thanks. looks like a blacksmith. He does. What can I do for you? A woman asked me to give this note to you. A note? Let me see that. The note says that the fishermen outside the town have been robbed by a band of brigands. They will need new equipment as soon as possible. I will have to start working right away. So, if this happened outside town, then shouldn't the woman have been passing by the blacksmith on her way to the first section of the village? Shut up. <laughs> We're looking for launch again, it's a bad idea. <laughs> I have important business two blocks further down the road. I have no time to talk to you. Two blocks but down. you're walking back and forth in a circle. <laughs> yeah, you're you're right here. Um, that is not. Well, maybe maybe if we watch him, he'll keep going. <laughs> what's uh, what? What's this gentleman who's just standing here? What's his deal? I do not know how this is possible, but every night between three a.m. and four a.m., money appears by the well. <laughs> so at least somebody's acknowledging the weirdness. He's the one sane person in all of Twin Peaks. <laughs> That's for him to tell people about it. Yeah, yeah. That Shaolin monk just walked right back to where you found him. Yes, he did. He absolutely did. How ridiculous. The Shaolin monks say that the Elder Gods predate the creation of the realms. That's... The, the gods but, are yeah, older yeah, than yeah. the universe? That's weird to you? Yeah. If, uh, everyone knows it was universe first, then gods! So who created the, the universe then, old man? Could the Elder Gods make a rock so big even they can't lift it? <laughs> 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 Didn't think of that one, did you? <laughs> I heard the guard say that his favorite meal is ham. Yeah, yeah it is. I know all about it. He loves ham. Pigtails. <laughs> you can hear him three blocks away. <laughs> oh, ham. <laughs> you know, I just watched uh, the Kami Dogu podcast interview with Max Crawford, Chujinko's voice actor. And when I they asked him, it. when they asked him what his favorite, like what the most memorable line in Conquest was, he said it's the ham guy. <laughs> <laughs> he knows the truth. <laughs> Greetings, young man. If you have come for the auction, please step inside. Oh, there's to be an auction. What are we auctioning? Is it stealables? Please say it's stealables. It seems like it might just be this coin. <laughs> We're just auctioning the coin money. This auction is mine. I found it on a quest many years ago. It is oh, said really? to be a magical item. Interesting. Because now it's mine. <laughs> the rare coin in this auction is priceless. I will outbid anyone to have it for myself. Priceless, you say? Let's see something a second. 350 gold coins. Huh. <laughs> I'm not so sure the coin is authentic. It might be a counterfeit. Well, whatever it is, it's in my pocket. Later... Going once, going twice, gone. <laughs> Later, haters. <laughs> Where is... Sold by the kleptomaniac. So there was a woman... What were we looking for way back at the beginning? <laughs> uh, blacksmith lady. Man. Be sure to no, tell there was a. Uh... Of the auction, it is not far from here. Oh, the auction's over. <laughs> I saw to that. <laughs> Thank you, lady. I will do that. Hello there. 
You look about the same age as my grandson. I think you can learn a lot from him about the benefits of meditation. Oh, this this gentleman right here who's doing what I already knew how to do? Uh, the, the one who's pawned off his wedding ring. Where's that guy? Wedding ring guy is at... Where are I have we? been spying on him. D5. I think he's a Lin Kuei warrior. Oh, you think he is? How can you tell? How can oh. you tell that this is a Lin Kuei? <laughs> da, 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 da. And I I'm on guard in this village. I'm a ninja so warrior. Trouble. I cannot believe that I pawned my wedding yeah, ring to this pay is my the guy. debts. Now my wife will not talk to me. I do not have enough money to buy it back from the merchant to whom I sold it. But if someone could get my ring back for me, I would gladly reward him with what money I have left. Okay, so so if I were to spend more money than you have, you'll give me some money. That seems like let's a fair deal. <laughs> let's just help the guy get further into Hawk. He's not about to live a good life. <laughs> He's just creating more problems. Let's see, are you you the gentleman who buys... Are you the pawn shop? Would it you is... like to buy a ring? Yes! Uh, never mind. You could not afford such a precious item. Oh, we're just making assumptions then, huh? But you can pay him with your fists. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just take this here. I guess I am making a profit. You found it. How did you? Never mind. I do not want to know. Are you Here's sure? the reward. It's I a funny story. It's simple. Supply and demand. So, I paid him in fist dollars. His his wedding ring is worth more than four hundred platinum coins. And he hawked it. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's see, are there any more interesting side quests we want to knock out before we uh, finish Let's up the village? See. Medicine for the sick boy. He woke up the lazy boy. Did you find the missing son? Uh, the missing son is way down at the end, I believe. Yes, in A3. Da, 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 da. Needs some poor I chose. Fourth training completed. He did the blacksmith thing. He found the lost key. Found the hiding boy. Yeah, I believe I believe these are the ones training to join the Lin Kuei, which is why it's so interesting that they're wearing Shaolin pants. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, How and are you? Do oh. you need something from me? Your mother is worried sick. She wants you to go home right away. If you talk to her, tell her you have not seen me. Oh. I'll take that bribe. Ah, bribery. <laughs> <laughs> What's your deal? In D5. Oh. Oh. Hey, Shujinko. What do you want? Oh, we're just not going to talk about you two uh, joining an assassin's guild. We're not going to nope. mention that. Okay. All right. Live your life. <laughs> In D5, there's a prick named Mecco who needs to be taught a lesson. Ah, He's Mecco. stealing lunch money. There's a bunch of kids huddled around in D5. D5. I, uh... Okay, this is D4. Okay, so somewhere around here. Hey! It's a bunch of kids supposedly huddled on the Why are you street. not doing your chores? <laughs> Thank you for waking me up. Take this ninja star I found as oh. a reward. Free shurikens. <laughs> if I remember right, that does nothing. No, you'll have that in your inventory forever. This is just a bunch of stuff that they left in. Hey, buddy, remember that time I punched you and you said you'd never forget it? What do you want? I do not have time for foolish chatter. Okay. I have been instructed to search for able men and women yes, to you increase mentioned the before. ranks of my clan. You cannot possibly possess skills worthy of a Lin Kuei warrior. Do they not teach the art of stealth at the Lin Kuei? He's off duty. Okay. Off duty, but on uniform. <laughs> is uh, Mecha only McBride? out during the day? Is that a concern? I'm guessing so. Okay, we will... Uh... Yeah, there it is, and there it will always be. <laughs> Might be useful someday. <laughs> nope. <laughs> How does that make you feel, Razor? <laughs> good, really good. To know that I'll have that in case I need it. 
Watch your money, Shujinko, or Mecha will rob you. Okay, okay, Mecha's a jerk. Hey, Shujinko, that bully Mecha keeps taking our lunch money. I think he is in the park. In I the wish park. someone would beat him up and get our money back. All right, all right. He's in the park. <gasps> Of course, I'm not a bully for bumping into people all the time and shouldering them around. Of course. Or, or for breaking into people's houses and stealing their money. That's, that's, I would never do such a thing. That's... Or walking and invited to the really? Shaolin Temple. Hey, there's Armac again. Well, let's see if Sub-Zero's still here. No, no. Nice of Ermac to, to keep visiting, though. Oh, of course he's a fat kid. Oh. Hey, Shujinko, have you found those kids I was looking for? Yes, Mecho, and they say you are bullying them and taking their money. And what if I am? What are you going to do about it? I well, am going to teach you a lesson. Yeah, Fight. it's it's uh, interesting you... Uh... Dental work. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you should ask <laughs> what I'm going to do about it. I'm gonna save you some future trips to the dentist. That's what I'm gonna do. I like how we square up and he says fight like it's gonna go into the into the fighting engine. And then <laughs> he just keeps walking and I can punch him for free. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel like in the Mortal Kombat universe, regardless whether there's a tournament going on or not, it's customary to say fight defeated, before something Mecha. happens. That's great. <laughs> I oh, challenge you to Mortal to Kombat. Kombat. There should be a reward for you inside. Here, take this. Oh. And, uh, how do I know which hut this goes to? <laughs> Since you beat Mecho, we have not seen him around much anymore. Yeah, he's Mecho still unconscious in the park. It's been Thanks, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the key opens a hut near the bridge in D4. D4. There was, there was a... house over here I couldn't get into, but that's B5. Still locked. We're in D5, so it's probably not, but, uh... Oh, hey, lady. My husband told me he fought many men to get his wedding ring back. Is he that is so what he brave. said? Now I know why I married him. <laughs> oh, you poor woman. You uh, poor, poor I, woman. I, I wish you many happy years together. <laughs> <laughs> She'll That's, be free that, of him soon enough. That relationship is built on trust, all right? <laughs> In time after his death, his very close impending death, she realized she was better off. Okay, I wanna I wanna check something for a second. So how am I supposed to know which direction is letters and which direction is numbers? If we try to imagine the grid. Hmm. I guess Here, hang on. Okay, so I'm I'm where the blue arrow is. So that's uh D five. So if we run straight up the road this way, it went D4 and then C4. That's not helpful. <laughs> there, there are a series of images with grid patterns over the maps. Shall I put those into our Discord to make it easier for you? Uh, this might be the hut. I mean, it's not going to tell me that I've unlocked... Like, it's not going to say you successfully used the key. There's no message for that like you would hope there'd be. Okay, those are all for the crypt. It is unknown what this key will unlock. <laughs> well, this is D4, so that was probably the hut. Unless there's more D4 over here, so... What's your deal? Inside the hut is 140 oh onyx God. coins. I need some water to do my laundry. Would you be so kind as to fetch me a bucket full? Fill okay. it up at one of the wells nearby. Alright, find a well, get some water. Bucket. He has a bucket. I, I am ready to use the element which brings life. But first. I know. Her back's gonna have a lot more problems very soon if that's the way we're going. Yeah. <laughs> I am sorry, Shujinko, 
but I have run out of flour to make any pastries. If you could run to my storage room down the street and pick up a sack of flour for me, I will pay you some blue coins. Just bring it here when you find it. All right, look at flour. This is a lot of busy work. These are not as fun as the missions where you get to punch someone in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Young man, my dog ran away and I have not seen him in a few days. Oh, oh no! Asking people this if they've one. seen my dog. We Here remember this one, word. don't we? I, I remember this one. Right, find the... So let's... let's oh. Let's find the lost dog, guys! <laughs> uh, uh, can we not? Uh, who do we speak to about the dog? Do you know about okay. a dog? The dog uh, is... I took your wallet. Oh, really? Where did he go? Where did... You ran off fucking screen. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there we go. He took nothing. Look, look at how much money I have, and he took ten coins? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so the small hut across from the dojo in C three in C three is is where we find the um the solution to the dog question. Here is a handy map I'm putting up in our Discord in our chat, so you can find your way around. All right, um, I'm going to have to. Uh... Oh God. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> so, where, which square is the hut? D3? C3! C3! C3. Okay. That would... Mm. Directly across from the dojo. It might be the one right in we front of you. should be right in that area. Well, this is C4, but... Oh, that's coins. Robbery, robbery. C3 is... It's supposed to be across from the dojo, so I think it's, like, right to your left. Well, the interesting thing is the... Yeah, C3 is mostly the Shaolin Temple, so it must be this one. Okay, what's, uh... A stray dog? Uh, yes, I, I found a stray dog. I am sorry, but I did not realize that he was a pet. I had the butcher cut him up for my dinner. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Take this, it's all that's left. This is exactly what the lady will be pleased to receive. I, I cannot, I can't even make light of this. This is so bad for so many reasons. I mean... <sighs> Let's just move on with our lives. Yeah, let's let's uh, not go back to that woman. Yeah, do let's... we not give... Well, if I don't, I... then it's in my inventory forever. <laughs> okay, ugh. I, I, I guess. Um... And she does pay you money. Yeah. Are you the one? Or are you the guy you who wanted flour? flour yet? Right, this is the guy who wanted the flour. Feels bad, man. So about your dog. <laughs> Where is the water I need for my laundry, oh, okay, young man? Okay. <laughs> I have so many on the backlog now. I get <laughs> well water and flour. Any news about my dog? This is my dog? Oh no! Nico! How could they do this to you? I promised a reward for whoever returned my dog to me. Take this money, young man. I thank you for your efforts. Oh, well, I guess it is not a total loss. Will you join me later for some Nico stew? No! Jesus! Absolutely not! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Razor, leave this village. <laughs> Nothing good happens here. Nothing. There's bodies on the streets! Lazy ninjas! Where is the well? I, 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 uh... I should at least do the water and the flour. You know, for the money. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a well over here. Well is in B6. Okay, here's, here's some money. 
That's not a well, though. Um, this is. Oh yes, there we are, right here. The element which brings life. <laughs> now, as for the flower, can I go in here? Okay. Well, it's only 9 p.m. You couldn't. Have, you couldn't have closed at 10. Hello there, Shujinko. How are you doing today? Sell flowers rains, you dick! Very kind of you <laughs> Your flower is in B3. The it's in the guy's storehouse. You're not yeah, buying it off a dude. Yeah. Did, why Why have a guy with grains out in the street if that's not where I get the flower from? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, how do I... Uh... Know which of the that, okay, might, that's, that might be it. No, this is B three. Can I uh, get in here? No. I'll just check all the houses around here and rob them. <laughs> and rob them, as one does. <laughs> as this is this is how a hero lives. All right, this is. I'm I'm training to save the world at the Mortal Kombat tournament. <laughs> My sister believes the stories our grandmother I'm tells also us, homeless. But I do not believe that Oni exists. <laughs> Where does he live? Find proof that Oni exists. Hmm. Shujinko doesn't live anywhere. He he is in fact homeless. I sleep in the street. We've seen me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the flower. And some money! <laughs> Alright, what? So, the proof Oni exists. I'm supposed to, like, spot an Oni and. Yeah, he's out in the middle of the night. Okay, out in the, that's right, in the night. He's running around through the B5, B6, C6 area. Okay. Thank goodness, you found the flower, and not a moment too soon. I have a large order to fill. Here are the blue coins I promised yeah, you. Yeah, it's good I was Thank so timely. I, I I did it the next day. <laughs> <laughs> we got shit to do, especially chosen ones. Yeah, yeah, which I definitely am. Clearly. Look, Bo Recho wouldn't be training me if I wasn't. <laughs> Thank you. It's not that now he took pity on a homeless laundry. orphan or anything. Take these coins. Go on, take them. I do, I do want to point out that, uh, so the name Shujinko, as we all know, is the Japanese word for protagonist. Yes. And therefore not a Chinese name. <laughs> There's a lot of, um, blending going on sure. when it comes to, um... Sure there is. I'm just saying that if a, if a person chose to see it a certain way... They could see it as, well, this is a Japanese kid who's been abandoned in China. And that nothing contradicts that. <laughs> yeah, that works for me. I don't see any fucking parents around. <laughs> I'm just saying, the kimchi set a precedent. It, yeah, yeah, there is that. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, they, they made like a, like a deliberate effort with the world map that the only landmarks they put on it are the ones that happen to be in China. Like, you don't you don't find the special forces base when we get out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so I guess I'll wait until night and try to catch an Oni. I have important business at the Shaolin Temple. Do -do 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 -do. I'm gonna walk in a Tetris shape. <laughs> Alright. We should we shouldn't have too much trouble spotting a demon in the middle of the street. He comes out after midnight. You after might want to meditate midnight. a little bit okay. more. After midnight. Just an hour. Sometimes it Shujinko's a little slow to to stop 
sleeping. <laughs> he's, he's like a car with oh. loose brain. Oh. Hey, that's where the ninja lives. The, the Lin Kuei guy lives in this house. <laughs> Can I go inside? Yes. Sneak. And he's... So the one time he uses stealth is in his own home. <laughs> Okay. He knew you were watching him. He All got right. you. No, he, he got me. He got me. All right. You can have that one. <laughs> now, he should be around somewhere. Where does this say? B5, B6, C6. Okay. Would you stop? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done. There we are. Look, look at this. Oh, oh, he's got the strut. This happy strut. gentleman. <laughs> yeah. This fancy fellow. What's what's uh? Let's walk with him. Let's walk with him a bit. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh. He's he's having a grand old time. He's enjoying himself. He's out on the town. Oni, 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 the blitzkrieg bop. <laughs> Alright, so just to be clear, I've been hitting the talk to him prompt, and I cannot talk to him. There's only one way to talk, There's sir. There's only one language this man understands. <laughs> Fist money. <laughs> Punch dollars. Dental work. And now I have a, an oni tooth. I have performed dentistry twice for this village. <laughs> <laughs> My services are in great demand. I have a promising career ahead of me. <laughs> can I just can I just say that I love that happy jaunty little dance that some right? of these people do? It's wonderful. It's it's heartwarming. You love them. You still kind of want to punch them, but mostly it just makes you happy. <laughs> when we find mocap in chaos uh, in order room in Sado, he's doing that when you find him for the first right. time. Now I just have to remember which hut had the people who wanted proof of an oni. I think it was this one. I think it. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I, I have never seen a tooth like that before. It is enormous. Maybe Oni do exist. It's definitely not from a bear or a tiger. Definitely <laughs> from a demon. Nope. It is a little difficult to steer. I wanted to talk to that lady and I ended up outside. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you moving like that for? There we go. Thanks to you, my brother will have to admit Oni exist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My work here is done. <laughs> All right. Um, let me just uh, scan around for uh, you know any any loose change that we can pick up or anything like that before I uh, do the next building. Yeah, here we go. All right. I'm getting tired. You've Go been standing inside. there for three I days. I will still be waiting for you out here. <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> Who's the chosen one, I ask you? Creep? Creep? To, to be fair, Creep? if you've been standing for three days, maybe your legs would be tired. <laughs> Not if you're the chosen one. You can withstand anything. It's, it's a well-known fact that when your opponent attacks, he's also vulnerable to attack. Well-known. Everybody knows that. Of course. It's truth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's wide open. The, he's never more wide open than when he's swinging his fists. <laughs> All right. So the fight state indicator. Uh, uh, a mostly useless little piece of HUD that they stuck on there. Um, this is the worst mechanic. Yeah, yeah. I don't even remember that this existed. My God. Like, when I was on the stream with the Cyborg, uh, a week and a half ago when we were doing Inception, I was seeing them out of the corner of my eye, and I'm like, what the fuck is that fucking shit for? Yeah, yeah. I, I completely forgot about him. I... Oh, God. He's winning. <laughs> no! I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to hit him when he's hitting me. Which... You have he... to... You have to, like, dodge up yeah, or down. Yeah, I have to... Smack him. What? 
There we go. There we go. What? Sidestepping on command is not. Oh, he wasn't even swinging then. No, it only registers that you dodge and then it registers that you hit. They don't have to be simultaneous. Oh, okay. All right. Ah, very good. You, you, in theory, supposed to hit him when his red light is on. <laughs> like a fucking traffic sign. Got a duck. Is it ducking? Was that what it said? Yeah, you, you, you duck. You duck. No, I did the ducking one. I think this one I'm supposed to like. You also have to hit it when you're ducking. Okay, hang on. Two, one. Duck. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. You know, just hit him twice, see if it works. No, it was there gonna work go. anyway. Alright, combos. Combo breaker. Yeah, yeah, okay. Break your combo. Oh, very nice. <laughs> very. Oh, very nice. Okay. You're back. Now let's try a few more advanced maneuvers. Follow me. Last stop. The Earthrealm Academy of Martial Arts. The Earth That Most sounds like an important school. place. This is where students learn which the I have never techniques. heard of before Some and will never hear about in again Earthrealm in a single here. fucking game. I'm training in Tai Chi these days, <laughs> but I hope to learn many more fighting skills. Someday, I want to be the greatest warrior in Earthrealm. I will show the real Shang Tsung who is the best and kick him all the way back to Outworld. Anyway, I have to go to class now, but I will see you later. You know? I hope you decide to join our school. Bye. What if what if Apep was at the tournament and he was just one of the NPCs who fucking dies? We'll never know. <laughs> and he's gone now. Yeah, he's we'll Goodbye, never see legend. him again. There's yeah. um I don't know if this is the last one or not, but there's another quest that we haven't done. Okay. There is a person who wants you to find some ninjas. Find some ninjas. B3. B3. Well, this is B3. Are they out the street, or...? There's an old um, man in front of a hut with right, a straw roof. B3 is... I always hit the wrong button. Okay, so B3... You're there according to the screen. Yes, I am I am in B3, but there is... There's a guy standing in front of a house. Do you remember my brother? He trained with Master Bo Raichel for five years before he was an able fighter. Okay. Alright. Um, an old man. That's an old woman. Between, ah, uh, between 6 p.m. and the early hours of the morning. Ah, alright. So we gotta wait till evening. There he is. Aren't you? Isn't that him? No. No, that's that's not an old man. That's just a guy. No. Nope. This, this okay. is probably him. There is talk of Lin Kuei ninjas lurking about. I must not leave my post. But if you were to deal with them for me, I would reward you for your efforts. Locate five Lin Kuei before dawn. Yep. <clears throat> Okay. There's one in A4. Okay, well, that would be back Between this way. the dojo and the hut. Wait, go back. Uh, nope. I mean, there's some money back there's here. There's some money. Oh. Yay. Oh, yeah. There's one. One down. Fuck em. So, so these grown ass men who were trained by the Lin Kuei and a two amongst the trees. A Sorry. thirteen year old boy is knocking them out 
without repercussions. Chosen ones, left to right, all day. Between two trees where? A2. A2, well. There's one anyway. Let's see, four, okay. Thought I saw a glint of money over there. Uh, eight. There's one also yep, around. Yep. Oh, yep. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's three so far. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, A4, A2, we covered those, C4 got him as well, D4. D4. D4, amongst trees. I'm going to punch D4. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Aha. Dental plan! <laughs> At least it needs braces. <laughs> Everyone in this motherfucking realm needs braces. And B6 at the first dojo. Okay. Would somebody do something about that baby? Hmm. He's behind a tree somewhere. As they do. Ha! And now I will leave them to uh, wake up and leave. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really hope the Lin Kui are taking notes about this village. You know what? Maybe this is why they let me join them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I we heard you clocked five of our dudes and mm -hmm. tailed another one. Not bad, not bad for a thirteen-year-old kid. Yeah, right. Want to be an assassin? It's it doesn't speak poorly of them. It speaks highly of me. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you have defeated the Lin Kuei ninjas. You have done me a great service. Take these coins. A full month's wages for a guard. Oh, okay. All right. Only 600 bucks for a month? Well, you know, it's ancient China money. <laughs> the, the economy is different now. Inflation right. or whatnot. Let me in. <laughs> <laughs> Smell it. Smell it. Okay. Any of the skills you've learned can be used together. Truly become a master of Mortal Kombat. A master of the it. tournament Mortal Kombat. <laughs> it's a tournament. It's a fighting style. It's a way of life. <laughs> Alright, style branch combo. <laughs> There we go. Hi. Now the interesting thing is because of the way the dial combo system works and the the buffering of inputs, I've I've put in the whole combo while he's swinging the first punch. Mm. There it is. Someone's watching him. <laughs> yeah, there was definitely a shadow in that dojo. I think right. up ahead is the very, very last quest. Yeah. After this, we leave the village. Yeah, so well, what else do we have to do around here? Let me make sure I get all the treasure chests and whatnot. Out of my way, lady. We can, <laughs> we can find a bracelet, we can find a vase, we can erase an old man, and that's it. And then we're done here. 
Alright, um, so there's the old man we race. I remember him. Alright. So, the interesting thing is this asshole is going to get a giant head start. Yep. I run faster, I but that. not that much faster, so let's see if we can pull this off. Excuse me. I am training to be the fastest man in all of Earth. The fast. Would you help well, me you've you've certainly dedicated your life to it. Look there at that beer. There is a reward for you if you beat me. <laughs> Ready? Go. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> ah, I got you. <laughs> nice. Congratulations, you have defeated me. <sighs> It seems I still have much training to yeah, do. Yeah, you, you might be a little old to challenge Usain Bolt, my friend. Hey, you know what? He gave you a run for your money. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> he did. He did. I mean, he's he's at least as fast as a 13-year-old boy. Everyone with a back problem needs my help. If you are interested Everyone. in making a few coins, then I have a job for you. There is a vase lost somewhere in this town. That is worth a lot of money to a client of mine. Okay, okay. If you what? help me find it, I will cut you in on the profit. Why are you saying it in such a suspicious you voice, though? Just bring it to me <laughs> if you find it. Please, go and steal, I mean find, me a perfectly available vase. All right, it is not anyone's property. This is all above board. Yeah, I yeah. promise you. So whose house is the vase <clears throat> in, huh? <laughs> C1 in a small straw hut. That's probably this one. Although it changed to B1 when I walked up to the door, so... Yeah. Small straw hut in C1. Okay, wait. So, where I'm standing right now is C1. I mean, the guy I'm looking at says small straw hut. It might be wrong. It described a man who I did not think was an old man earlier. I'll just check all the houses. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. I will. I will rob all the houses. It's fine. <laughs> Gotta get paid. Ima imagine what's come to this neighborhood that people have started locking their doors. You know, you can't just. Trust anybody these days. I think all the rampant, unchecked dental work on the streets might have something to do with that. No, I must have been in here already. This isn't even. Look at look at this texture. Oh God, that's <laughs> that's awful. All right. Well. My uh, options are somewhat limited for C1. I wonder what uh, what you have to say. You know, I am glad we have these walls to protect us. I'm gonna live the entirety of my mm -hmm. life in these mm -hmm. walls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Welcome to Canaria. <laughs> There's a small hut in C1. Nope. Hmm. There's a small hut in C1. Hmm. Ah, there's a oh. the face. And 60 bucks. Just sitting there. For the taken. All above board. The, uh, the, the ancient Chinese currency of dragon coin. <laughs> yes, this is it. You stole, I mean, found the base. You have saved me quite a lot of trouble. As promised, here is your share of the, uh, reward. Of the, uh, reward? What's it's all this? yours for giving that vase. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What a, what a, what an We're amazing actor. It. What a, what a sly gentleman. Roll a natural oh, 20 on his bluff check. <laughs> so there's Many a person in A3. Strange glowing lights in this part of town. Have they? That's interesting. That's... 
That's just the sign of a chosen one. And that really does imply that people are seeing what you're seeing. This is not at all a quest marker. Yeah, so, well, I be so I'm pretty sure he was talking about Damashi, which means that, that motherfucker's been going around town asking every kid, and I'm last on the list. <laughs> and they were all okay. smart enough probably, to say no. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what the hey, hell? <laughs> Want to be a chosen one? You have a destiny, definitely. I promise. So <laughs> So there's a the straw hut in A3. That a humanoid race of reptiles once roamed Earth realm. That sounds like bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. It's feasible. I think this. I think that's how I know what he's talking about. All right. Is there? You said there was somebody with a quest for a bracelet. A3. There's a, a woman hanging up clothes. Okay. Well, I just talked to the woman who was hanging up clothes in. C D1, so that wasn't her. <laughs> I think this might be one that we could have done yeah, before. I think the we have to go round. back. Which is which is fine. The entire village is open to us right now. We've we've cleaned up all the watermelons and fed all the guards their ham. Ah. Also a few folks, fixed some teeth. Yeah, yeah. Six p.m., seven p.m. is probably not clothes hanging time. <laughs> oh, I can't wait till we have to do this for a week to get Liu Kang. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so good. I'm taking so many bathroom breaks. <laughs> like that fucker shows up once a month. Yeah, yeah, it's a super unlockable. <laughs> So it's it's probably not the one the lady all the way back here because she was already a a three a three a three such a nice person just shoving people aside in the street but you know what when they when I take a nap in the middle of the street they shove me aside so fuck them <laughs> just sounds like New York to me yeah. Like that's how that's how we do things in this town. Hey, I'm walking here. Grab a ghoul. <laughs> that's here, probably right. here we go. Excuse me, but have you seen a bracelet? I think it was too large for my wrist and fell off. If you return it to me, I will reward your kindness with coins. Look All at right. this weird awkward ape pose I'm making. So <laughs> is this thing in the middle of the street or Southeast in D5. South barrels East. in the southeast corner. Some barrels. Now <sighs> well, you're in D5 now. There we go. Oh, there was no indicator of that whatsoever. No, no, I just... Usually just find these things out in the open. I just... Yeah, how are you supposed to, like... Think of pressing the prompt when you're near barrels at random? Just walk That's around the street unlockable. mashing A? Or... <laughs> That's how we did it in the JRPG day J days. That's how we found shit. Y you're right. Interact you're with right. everything. Mash, mash, mash. Yeah, I have to. I have to use my point-and-click adventure brain for this. <laughs> this is definitely past where the lady is. The Earthrealm Academy of Martial Arts, which you hear about all the time in the MK games. <laughs> oh, you have found my bracelet. Thank you, kind sir. There was a pause there. I thought I wasn't going to get paid, and I was about to punch her. <laughs> <laughs> she won't pay me. I'll pay you in fist dollars. Look, this is this is how heroes of Earthrealm act. They extort on top of their their you know burglary. I am sorry, Shujinko, but I cannot let you pass these gates. 
Why not? Unless you have ham. Look, let me let me explain to you how to many grown adult Lin Kuei warriors I've defeated in battle, You're okay? Too young and to venture outside. Return when you can prove to me that you have learned enough, and I may let you pass. Yes, Master Bo Raicho. I will continue my training. I also want to point out, so, about Shujinko's voice, uh, Max Crawford is doing, like, a, a young thing here Greetings, with his voice. Shujinko. Who? What are you? Oh, it's the Not legend. It is John Vogel himself. The Elder Gods? <laughs> yes. They are the powers that made this world possible, as well as many others. I have come to you on their behalf because they need your help. What kind of help do gods need? Right, so so Max Crawford is doing the young man voice for Shujinko here. Uh, Shujinko ages like five times throughout this? Like, changes character model and whatnot? But his voice, I think it's his voice really only changes twice. <laughs> yeah. No, not him. I will be your champion. What must I do? You must traverse He's already asked the kid who cosplays as Shang. You know he has. But Master will not let me outside the walls of the town. No. He's asked Apep. He's even fucking asked Mecho. Oh, definitely. Mecho pissed himself. This will give you the edge you need on your quest. Go now. Return to Master Borisho and show him you are an experienced fighter. I will, Damashi. Thank you. I will not let the Elder Gods down. All right. So what so... happened to you today, my, my, my dude? My <laughs> giant glowing light turned me <laughs> into a so mime. Soon. Yeah. I yeah. thought you had returned to the school. I am ready to prove that my combat skills are good enough. Oh, very well, Shujinko. Show me. <sighs> so. So Sujinko has gained the power to copy the fighting styles and the superpowers of everyone he meets. And it's there are no rules of like you can only use one at a time or anything like that. He's he's like he's the broken maximum power version of Rogue, not the regular version of Rogue. You know what I mean? He is in effect a human Xerox. <laughs> this is a mutant power at Xavier's Academy. He has become better chameleon. Um, he's, he's essentially the most broken character in Mortal Kombat. Yes, yes. Like uh, at the end of this story, he will uh, be able to copy the entire roster at one time because they're all in the same room with him, uh, and he never loses that. Like once he's copied something, he has it forever. He's Taskmaster. Wrong. He's, he's Taskmaster if Taskmaster could do powers. Yep. But uh, I wanted to talk about how he does it, because we see in, in the ending that when he's, like, copying the whole room of people, like, glowing strands of energy come off them into him. And there's a there's an ending in Mortal Kombat X where Cassie mistakes him for Shang Tsung. Not just because they're both old men, but because he can, you know, suck right, energy like what, out of you and then copy your powers. What we should be seeing is pretty much that. Like every time he does it, yeah, like, he's yeah. summoning some sort of like rainbow thing out of your chest and into his fist or whatever. The point I want to make is he's he's stealing souls and he doesn't know he's doing it. <laughs> like, he's not taking your whole soul and killing you. He's doing- like, when Shang does it as a special move, he takes a little bit and then he can morph into you. Shujinko- and we should talk about the morphing, because, uh, in the training missions, the game doesn't, like, do the Shinnok thing from MK4, where he has the opponent's moves but his character model doesn't change. It does- it- it morphs you. Yeah. And I don't think- Shujinko morphing into people is actually canon. No. So he doesn't like one to one have Shang Tsung's powers. He I've always felt that. <clears throat> it's it's interesting that it because. That... Go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. Um, it, it's interesting because theoretically you should have just morphed into Bo there because you should be learning doing Bo's moves. Yeah, moves like, the whole the whole point right? of this, the whole point of the you story the power. when I walked up to that fight was now you can learn Bo Raicho's training, but I, 
I guess the idea is that Bo Raicho also, like, he's the one who taught me Mantis and Shell and Fist or whatever my second form was. I mean, this is about proving yourself, you know? He probably yeah. gave you a little bit of a reflexive and strength boost in addition to giving you mime time abilities. Like, so, so in theory, the reason I didn't turn into Bo and use Bo's fighting styles to beat Bo just then is because Bo also knows the styles that Shujinko has. And Shujinko, before that, didn't know the whole style. He's still learning. But now I've so copied the entire style and my training is complete. Well, Bo actually has also not shown you everything that he's about. You don't know how to throw up to save your life yet. That's true, that's true. He has not taught me combat vomiting. <laughs> Which is a, v and a very a very important skill in the martial arts. You're not getting anywhere till you pull that finger, dude. Okay, so this is a this is an optional side mission from going inside the house. Uh, spar with me to. Pr oh, so I just repeat the fight I just did. Okay. Yeah, you just did this. Exit. Yeah, yeah, I can uh, return to map here. But. Uh, But yeah, like, so, so Shujinko cannot canonically shapeshift. But he can steal souls and copy powers. And because he can copy multiple powers at one time, he's actually much better at it than Shang Tsung is. I feel like... But the game doesn't... It's probably like a... It's probably like a special degree of that kind of sorcery, where, like, the spell itself is... It focuses on different things. Like... The roots are the same. You're still mixing the drink, but you're adding different ingredients to it. You know, it's going to taste different. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's a very specialized form of soul theft. But, like, so the game never talks about it as soul stealing. Like, Shujinko never learns how he can do what he does. He just takes it on faith that uh, Damashi has given him a good thing. But he actually has, like, an inherently evil superpower. <laughs> But, but yeah, in, in, in essence, Shujinko is what if Shang Tsung were trying to be a good guy? <laughs> All right. You don't need to be like that 70-year-old fuck who never left town. Thank you, Master The Bob. world is your oyster now. Yeah, yeah. You show great potential. I, I would very much like to train you myself. Perhaps I Is that not what you you've already been doing? Great defender of Earth Realm. <laughs> Training, I think that we're supposed to assume that he's but first I have tasks. like one of many students who's learning the basics from them, perhaps one at a time. <laughs> but the dialogue should imply that road. yes, it's time for me to show you some real stuff. Your training. I will see you there. Goodbye, Master Bull right, right. So, so we are going to cut the episode off at um. At each realm, I guess we'll do we'll do them one at a time. And this we've completed the village, so that's been episode one. But before we go, there is I want to see this cutscene, and then there's one thing I want to try to do. I know exactly what you're about to do because I'm pretty sure you can only catch it once. I really felt as if I could fight like Master Bull Raicho. He was so impressed that he offered to train me personally. Excellent. There is much you can learn from him. But first, so the interesting thing here is that uh, Damashi's voice actor is John Vogel, but Onaga's voice actor is Max Crawford, the same guy who does Shujinko. I mean, if it was me, I would have had Onaga and Damashi be the same guy because they're the same guy. But spoilers. They have been scattered throughout reality. Each one lies hidden in a different realm. The Elder Gods are unable to retrieve these items themselves, and therefore must elect a champion born within the realms to collect them. They have constructed portals and the Nexus to aid their champion in his quest. What is the Nexus? You know, technically everything he's saying here what is true. <laughs> I will show you what to do. Until then, good luck with your search. Thank you, Domashi. More like a series of omissions rather than outright yeah, lies. Yeah. Yeah, he's just he's just left some details out, like that you're not Master the real Bobacho's champion. Master house lies to the northeast. I should head in that direction. But first, yeah. So let's see if we can spot this motherfucker into the woods. 
You might have to open that chest to get him to pop. Ah. Okay, so I think I want to be looking... And then I think... Yeah, you want to be facing roughly this way. Okay, 250 ruby... There he is! And there he goes! And that was Kentaro. That's the only time you see Kentaro in this game. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, uh, this has been episode one of our Conquest playthrough. Uh, I hope everybody enjoys this. And uh, stay tuned for episode two. Unlike Django, we will finish what we started. <laughs> All of it. All of it. In fact, when we're done with Deception, I want to do Mythologies. Uh... So, uh, look forward to that. <laughs> you know what? I have a hankering to be behind the controller for some of that. All right. I, it's too I, much for, I think it's too much for any one person to take on themselves. It's an exercise of frustration. We can pass that shit back and forth. So, th yeah, the thing about uh, it is that I've recently played Mythologies. So, <laughs> if, if you would like to do it instead, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have I done? Okay. Um, and, uh... I was actually surprised by how quickly he beat it. You know, if you have infinite lives, <laughs> it doesn't take that long. Just a matter of being patient with the dying. I mean, the thing is, if you don't have infinite lives, you'll never beat it. <laughs> no. But uh, uh, I, used to, I used to game shark that bitch for infinite energy. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, that's uh, that's been the episode. See you later, nerds. <laughs> have a nice day, folks. <laughs> See ya.